My name is Miss Nancy and I'm delighted to bring you tonight's edition. It is quite a story and I'm amazed that these days the gentlemen are coming out expressing their emotions and seeking for help too. That is awesome and my ears are always opened to listen to them. Tonight is quite a sad confession and story and I hope and pray that we'll be able to help this fine gentleman and you and I can learn a thing or two out of it. My name is Miss Nancy and this is Confessions. Do not go away. Women are noted to have the ability to share their feelings, their frustrations, their stories and their confessions. But these days, on confession, a whole lot of men are coming out. And I'm glad that the brothers, the sons of Adam, have learned to share their emotions. Tonight is a fine gentleman here with us and he says he has a confession, he has a story and he needs our help. Hi, gentlemen. <sighs> Hi, Mr. Nancy. For this purpose, what would you want me to call you? Nee. Nee, thank you for coming on Confessions. And we're happy that you're ready to share your story so that other people can learn from it. And you would get the help. That I promise you. I hope so. Nee, tell us your story, your confession. You know, Mr. Nancy, sometimes you get into something and you hope for a change. Yeah. But after some time, the change doesn't come. Mm. And you're just tired and, and worn out. Mm. I met a beautiful young lady. She's beautiful. Oh. Very beautiful. Mm. We got to talking. We became friends. And then I asked her to spend the night in my house one day. And she agreed. Of course. I was excited because really, like, I know I'm fine, but I haven't had that fine in girl. Oh, before. fine. I'm glad you know you're fine. You've got lovely eyes. Thank you, Miss Nancy. We spent the night. It was, it was a mind-blowing night. Mm. I had so much fun. Mm. Morning came. It was time to wake up, mm. go find something to eat. She seemed not to want to get out of the bed. She wasn't asleep, but she just wasn't, didn't want to get up. Get out of bed? Did she want more or something? <clears throat> well, I thought so, but I... Mm. <laughs> I pushed her. She was like, no, 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 she's okay. I should... When she finally got out of the bed, uh -huh. then I saw why she, was, she wasn't she was ready to get up. Get out. My bed sheets, my duvet, my mattress... Mm -hmm. Everything was soaked. What? Everything was soaked. Oh my god. She had bed wet and oh. it wasn't like a small quantity, it was quite a quantity. So like oh. Oh. I was confused. Mm. But I'm not the type to embarrass people, make an unnecessary fuss and all of that. Course. So I thought, oh don't worry, it's fine. This is, I collected everything, took it to the bathroom. Mm. Rinse them out, wash some, mm. put the mattress out to dry. I calmed her down, told her it is not a big deal. Big deal. You're so kind. In my head, it was a one off thing. Mm. Well, time goes on. A few weeks later, I stayed in touch. We we'll text once in a while. Mm. I got a phone call. On, I didn't know the number. Mm. I responded. It was an elderly gentleman. Mm -hmm. And he had a proposition. Did. That was the girl's dad. Okay. Um, apparently, this is a problem they've been dealing with mm -hmm. from when she was a child. Oh. And they have done every. Well, let me put it this way: the girl family has money. Okay. So they've done everything mm -hmm. they they could mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. but the problem hasn't gone away. Mm -hmm. And of several men that she had dated yes. or attempted to date. I was the only one who had treated her nicely about After it. the experience. Oh. So when she went home, she told her dad, her parents about it. And mm -hmm. that's why her father was calling me. Mm -hmm. If only I was willing to date and marry their daughter. If I were yeah. willing to skip the date part. Mm -hmm. If I was willing to marry their daughter mm -hmm. and not make a fuss over this bed mm -hmm. waiting 
they were willing to sponsor a lavish wedding. Um, Miss Nancy, name it, we have it. They will give us a house, they will give us cars, they will mm. give us a bank account. Mm. All this, all, they pulled out all the stops. Yeah. I'm not poor, but that yeah. was enticing. Of course. So, much as I didn't particularly love her, I went for it. I married her. Our wedding was the talk of our car. It was the talk of our car. It's been two plus years. Miss mm -hmm. Nancy, I'm tired. You're tired. I'm tired. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, I, I can't do this anymore. Our bedroom has taken on a permanent stage. Mm. I've I'm doing everything I can. I've suggested that we share different bedrooms, but she's not interested. Yes. She says she's a Christian woman. She has to share the room with her husband and blah, 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 blah. Yes. But let me see my prayer. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Easy. Easy, me. Easy. I, wow. I can't. I can't. This is some confession. Well. I am a woman, uh, it is a sensitive one. My heart goes out to the young lady. My heart goes out to this man that thought that he could deal with us for the rest of his life. But currently, wabre. Or it is till death do them part. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go into the studio. My audience are ready, my counselors are ready. Let us try to look at this first. Seated right here in the studio, and we want to help this gentleman. Ah, you all heard his confession, right? Yes. Quite a pathetic story. But do we agree that he's a very kind gentleman? He is kind. You don't? Well, my lady, you first. Miss Nancy. Um, yes, my lady. I'm Sally. Hi, Sally. Yeah. So the story is very sad, but I would say um, the guy has to endure. So far as he accepted a deal, meaning he was ready for it, so he has to endure. He thought he could. But Can't we all? I mean, we worst. all go through things we thought I could handle this, and at a point you're human. You, you just realize that, no, I just cannot do this again. Don't we have that option? Well, yeah, we have, but I think he has to endure. So far as he accepted a deal, and that's it. For better for us. You don't give any mercy, do you? <laughs> My dear. Yeah, Miss Nancy, I'm Harrison. Harry? Yeah, I'm saying in this case, the guy is very greedy. I'm, yeah, he's greedy because I don't know the reason why you met a lady. Uh -huh. And you know the, ba the lady bit wet. Mm -hmm. And still, I want to marry this lady. Yeah. All because of money. Hmm. And you are in because of the money. Not but, because but of love. But on the first day, he was kind. This is a woman that goes to meet a man. For the first time, they experience this horrible, unfortunate situation and they send her out and she comes back home crying to her parents. And for the first time, a man was considerate, made her feel great that, listen, it is a big deal, but I can deal with it. Didn't make her feel embarrassed, made her feel good. That's why she went talking about him to her parents. He's kind. But Miss Nancy, in this case, the guy's supposed to be real. Just be real to the lady. Tell it this I don't love you, but I can help. But love grows, doesn't it? Hi, Miss Nancy. Mm. Um, this guy, I don't know why he's even here crying. <laughs> yes. Because, first of all, you know exactly what you were going into. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes you even find somebody you, you're trying to work there, whether the Charlie this is even perfect. You don't even expect a little cry, it will Charlie, along with you shake. But this one, you knew. You know exactly what you were going into, yet you went into it, and now you're crying for who to come save you. Hmm. Yes, before I come to Kelly and Counselor, please. Miss Nancy, my name is Alafia. Um, this man, eh, he needs to be whipped. Eh, Miss Nancy, you see, these are some of the things that some of the guys are doing. They always want to take advantage of some ladies because the lady has a problem. You, you, first of all, she, the gentleman said he's working, mm -hmm. he's okay, he's well-to-do. 
He's okay, but, he said. But because the parent has a lot of money and they want to, you know, top up. So this gentleman decided that, oh, I would open up and take in all. But, you know, ladies say, love me, love my dog. Mm -hmm. So once you are going for the money, you are going for the lady, and the package attached to it, you need to take everything, <laughs> consume it. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so this gentleman, like Harry said, why is he crying? There are ways and means of curing these things. But like he said, the parents are affluent. They have done everything and it's still yeah, there. Yeah, but maybe they have not pushed enough because there are other ways aside of the medical side. There are traditions or uh, traditionalists who can also work. But Help you see, these things. people always tell you, I'm a Christian. I don't believe in this. There are herbalists. There are people in this country that can help. Hmm. So please, don't just look at one side. Don't, don't just look at the Bible or being a religious person, a Christian or something. Go back to your roots. Find out. And seek for any kind of help you can Has get. the father or the mother gone through such problem before? Has any of their grandmothers or grandfathers gone through such problem before? People don't just look out mm. for hidden troubles. They always look at the surface. So please, my brother, don't cry. The money that you have, invest in other places and you'll get a solution. Thank you. That is a good one. Uh, Councillor Kelly. Thank you. Yes, I wanted to pick from my studio audience before I come right. to you two gentlemen. And then I will get my councillor to come in. Go ahead, Kelly. Well, um, let's first of all um, lovingly understand that stigmatization of every any sort mm -hmm. is is not is not the best. Yeah. Let's identify with the matter that this could have been any of us here. Mm -hmm. And if we can wear her shoes, we would already begin to. Um, slow down our tempos. Yeah. Because this could be your sibling. Yeah. And this could actually be you mm. knowing that you've done all you know mm. within your means and this still this situation still persists. You'd need to be empathic a little bit. So can we start from there? Having said that, I don't think this man has done anything wrong. And I could stand to be corrected. Yeah. Not, I don't have monopoly of ideas. In the first place, regardless of what they were offering, he was a perfect gentleman. He was. I don't blow my horns, but I would have perhaps done the same. Mm. Going further to now realize that the woman he loves has X, Y, Z as a plus to be attached to our relationship mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing there's nobody who wants to get married tomorrow who wouldn't appreciate the fact that there's that there's some wealth in attachment to the relationship that's beautiful mm -hmm. he didn't ask for it he didn't even see it coming it came along with it it just came along and he he appreciated it now what the matter is is that he's now speaking out and there's still nothing wrong with that problems overwhelm us and then we just speak out. Yes. Even mothers who are about to give birth at some point, they're like, you know what? Mm -hmm. This is beyond me. Mm. Is it that they don't want the child? Mm. Or nor their lives? Or, or, or their lives? Mm. They're just saying this pain right now, mm. I wish it could just stop. So for you, it's just. So a he's man just that voicing so out to say, this himself. is where I am right now, and mm. I just feel like voicing out. And even if he wants out, it doesn't mean he was selfish in the first place. He just got, he's just gotten to a point where he's like, oh my God, I, I didn't see all of this coming. Anymore. Not because, because he was comfortable. This is a man who is okay, regardless mm. of their wealth. Mm. So he's just at a point where he's saying, you know what? I'm carrying a cross right now. I wish I wasn't bearing. However, this is my story. It's, a, it's, it's, it's like Jesus is on. He exactly. Says, Let this cup pass possible, over me if it was possible. Exactly. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with this guy logically. 
Thank you. Because Thank you. regardless of the parents' um, um, offer or something, he still would have loved the woman to a certain uh, um, um, appreciable extent. Anyway, so let's, let's give it up for the guy in the first place. Well, somebody was kind to those gentlemen, and I'm amazed as Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pastor, yes, uh, to you. All right, thank you, Ms. Nancy. Um, I have once encountered a situation like this before. Mm -hmm. And this time, it was the person who was really bedwetting. Mm -hmm. And so, as much as this gentleman needs help, mm -hmm. uh, the, the lady also really needs help mm -hmm. because it's not easy for an adult mm -hmm. to be in such a situation. Mm -hmm. However, I see this gentleman not just uh, the want of money, but he used empathy, I think sympathy, so. I think and so. to be a consolation. A bit of pity. Yes, a bit. I mean, a consolation to the lady. Mm -hmm. Because several of these people, they don't even find a man who will give them a chance the next day. Mm -hmm. Once they see such a thing, and from what is said, it must be very heavy. I mean very heavy that mm. everything gets wet mm. and all that. Mm. So hardly will a man even give you a second chance for the next day. Yeah. So he's quite a gentleman. He is. Now. He deserves some clap. Yeah. 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 Now, sometimes, sometimes we make decisions and we think we are able, but along the line, we realize the reality. There is difference between possibility and reality. Mm -hmm. You think it's possible to handle, mm -hmm. but you face the realities, mm -hmm. and then you realize that it's not something that I can handle. However, we say that what you cannot change, change your attitude about it. Mm -hmm. If you can't change a thing, one of the ways to do is to change things to do is to change your attitude. In this case, I mean, how does he change the way he feels about having a be wet bed every day, having a stinking bedroom, having a woman that says that I want to still stick with you, so I'm not going into another bedroom. We have to sleep in the wetness for the sake of love. <laughs> okay, okay, but let me, let me say this quickly. You see, you see, I am not even looking at the money aspect. Mm. I mean, but that is also a very key issue we have to look at. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at that. But in changing your attitude, assuming this is your mother, your sister, hmm. daughter, actually. your daughter, hmm. somebody that you can really cannot part company with, what do you do? So, so sometimes God has his own way of giving us people who can really harness and keep us going. And I think, I think for this gentleman, he is the kind of man that can be with such a situation. He needs now, strength the from the Lord Now for the that we go endure. through, the Bible says that he will not send us a temptation or a test that we are unable to endure. And so this probably came to him because he has the ability. How can we talk about a sensitive issue like this concerning a woman and not have a woman in the seat? Tonight, I have Lady Pastor Ada, who is a life coach of the Prayer Palace, right here on Confessions. People, let us show her some love. Let us show her some love. I need a woman with me in the seat. Good to see you. Thank you. Please have a seat. You are welcome to Confessions. Thank you. Your very first time. Yes. I have just tried to think about the woman with this challenge. Yeah. The woman that goes to bed every night mm -hmm. and w without her permission, her body decides to embarrass her. Yeah. Her body decides to make her look irresponsible, childish, mm -hmm. and even sick. Mm -hmm. And she has to endure this every morning, mm -hmm. waking up in your own wetness. Mm -hmm. Let us talk about this woman going through this. So I personally think that the woman is more traumatized than the man. I'm sure. 
And over the years, listening to people in my journey, the person who says their story does not entirely tell you what they also do to the other side. Mm -hmm. And so he probably might not talk about the abuse of words. Mm -hmm. He probably might not talk about the look he looks at her in the morning. Mm -hmm. One more mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. over 30 years, you've done this again. Mm -hmm. He probably might not talk about the days where he will not necessarily speak a word, but say, I'm not sleeping on the same bed with you. And how the woman has to be in bed alone. He probably might not talk about the many times the woman will make an effort to buy an adult diaper hmm. to wear at hmm. night. Hmm. Her effort of waking up at midnight and saying, I'm going to pee so that I don't pee in the bed. And yet she pees and still will go to sleep and still pee. My heart goes out to her. It is, and it will be difficult on any kind of a woman. For the men, for the siblings, for the friends that know that their friends are going through similar situations, how can we support them? Unfortunately, people like this don't have friends because oh. people walk the door on you when they realize that you have an open butt. We all have a bat, but it's a kept bat. It's mm -hmm. a secretive bat. It's a, it's a wrapped bat. Mm -hmm. But the bat that is open, like Naaman, that everybody knows that you are leprous, regardless mm -hmm. of how great you are, mm -hmm. people walk away from you. The reason why Naaman will go to war and when he's done, he wouldn't have friends to hang out with, mm -hmm. but go home to his wife. Mm -hmm. And the maid in the house can tell the wife to tell the man. Mm -hmm. If he had always hung out with people, probably he wouldn't pay attention to his wife. People in such situations don't have friends. You don't even have friends. And so what you're arriving at is this husband is probably all she, she has. Got. The husband and the family. Mother and father can't cut you off. You are what they have. Yeah. But siblings at some point can tell you that, well, you keep your distance. You're my sister, but keep your distance a bit. Sisters? Yes. I love my yes. sisters to death. Yes, yes. I love you them. You are blessed to have that grace to love them to, mm. to death. But there are people who can openly tell you that you are my sister. I didn't, I didn't choose you to be my sister. Mm. We are connected with blood. Mm. But please keep your distance because I don't want my kiss to come to you any day and notice this act. In, in the mind of the child, they think it's okay to be on the bed. So she might probably go through that phase of life as well. And so all she has is her husband and all she has is her family. And if she's a woman who knows God, Maybe all she'll ever have is the oh love God. of God that will keep her going. Me, are you there? Yes, Miss Nancy. And are you listening? Yes, Miss Nancy. We are establishing a point here <clears throat> that probably all she has is you and her parents and no one else. I hope you put that into consideration as we go on with this conversation. Let us talk about the father, the father of the woman that would call a young man and say, my daughter has had this challenge all these years. Right. You are the only person she says has been kind to her after this experience. Right. And this is my offer. Yeah. I simply think that the father doesn't have a deeper revelation of the Bible. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. New King James Version says, and God saw that it wasn't good for a man to be alone, mm -hmm. so he will make him a helper, compatible mm -hmm. to him. The, the highlight on a regular average Christian is the helper, not the mm -hmm. compatible. The compatible. To the father, he saw a helper, but he couldn't wait to see compatible. Compatibility. I mean, he was the first person that showed care. It doesn't Love, matter. It is courteous. You don't a bird measure... in hand is worth more than two in the bush. You don't, you don't measure love just like that. It's embarrassing for the both of us. And so, yes, a young man sees a young lady and sees that she goes through that. And obviously, I mean, love is work. And so if we have not started the work... Don't make an offer, and you don't take an offer when you don't know what is in details with the work. Mm. Good one, my lady. Thank you so much. That was deep. Mr. Daniels. Hi. The young lady's father. Hi. Do you think that she was an auction? 
she was sold. Is that probability that they couldn't wait to get this problem off their own hands? Um, Miss Nancy, let's, um, due respect to all the opinions, let's again apply a certain measure of humanity. Yeah. Whilst we do not in any way overrule biblical considerations. Mm -hmm. um, compatibility has been overtly expressed by this man from the Genesis. Mm -hmm. It's just that he's overwhelmed with the situation at hand. But then back to his father dealing with your question directly. Any father under the sun who has the means and loves his daughter would support his daughter in every single way to keep her home. Mm. This is not, forget about a bedwetting situation. Fathers give cars and houses to their, their daughters upon marriage, upon wedding. Yeah. Car gifts, house gifts, mm -hmm. company handovers, just mm -hmm. so that you both will be fine, mm -hmm. so that you can have no reason to say this marriage didn't work. Mm. So this is my contribution to you in your life for the furtherance of your journey. Mm. So I, for one, wouldn't have done anything less than what this man has done. Mm. My daughter has a situation, yes. And all these years, it's been a turmoil. Finally, she's gotten a man who says he loves her. Are you kidding me? I would do everything to make sure that that man is comfortable. So for you... This is not a man that auctioned his uh, no, sick daughter, quote and unquote. Young man, do you love my daughter? Out of respect, because yes, sir. Because without, without saying I love her or not, he has already started showing it, regardless of knowing what my capability is mm. as an in-law. So he's just saying, I found a lady who is in this circumstance. Let me be a gentleman and do the needful. And what comes to him spontaneously is to clean her mess without even saying, what the heck have you just done? Mm -hmm. He said no word. He cleaned up her mess. And that was the first wow. That's... And then they went ahead. So this man, um, all protocols observed with all, of, I mean, um, all givings that we've had, is to know that this man is just excited that Finally, he's at peace. He's not in a hurry to let the girl off the family. Say, he's hey, just hey, excited God, about just, just the fact that somebody lost. They were not complaining in the first place. Mm. I mean, she could have as well. He could have as well put her in another apartment somewhere apart from the family house yeah. and then sponsor anything that has to do with her welfare. But that never happened. They were living in the same house. house. It means that he wasn't in a rush to let her go. This is a situation where... This is a situation she's found herself. And she's found, he's found a man who has taken up the responsibility to say, regardless, I still love her. Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's a plus for me in my mind for a father to be that nice. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. So this is a situation that needs attention. This is a situation where we need opinions of professionals and technical people. And we also need to go out to the streets. Maybe a voice from the streets would actually be the one encouraging this young man to stay put. This, I mean, a voice on the street could be one that would encourage this young woman to understand that your husband needs a breather every now and then. Allow him out of your bedroom every now and then. People, let's go out to the professionals on the streets. Personally, I'll go for love. If, if I love the person, she's bedwetting. Why not? I'll marry her. So if I marry her and I know her situation, I need to help her out. For example, maybe midnight, I have to calculate time to time, wake her up, go and pee and all that. But if because of the money, 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 yes, money, I can help her to uh, seek uh, medical attention. I will marry somebody who bedwets, not because of the money alone, but I want to serve a mother and a wife duty. Therefore, I'll make sure if it's something that I can't take care of in the house, that means it's medical and I'll seek medical attention. And since there is money, I can always buy a lot of detergents. In fact, 
perfumes just to clean my room and then we enjoy our lives. Of course, yes, I'll marry her. Why? Um, because um, love goes where love is and I'll just put her on a treatment for years. When I even see it, still she's been working there, just divorce her because I can't take it anymore. No, I won't. Because I can't be dealing with the urine every day. Just imagine every every time you wake up, your husband is as wet your bed. It's too much, so I don't think I, I can marry such a person. <laughs> You're welcome back. You heard what the streets and the professionals had to say back in the studio. It's been quite an emotional one for all of us, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Alafia, I've not heard your voice today. Yeah, um, I just wanted to find out, Miss Nancy, um, whether they have a child mm. or if they don't have before the marriage, was any of them having a child? Okay. Ni, are you with us? Do you have a child? No, Miss Nancy, not yet. Not with your wife, but do you have one yourself? No. And she doesn't also have? No. All right. Alafia, have you got your answers? Yeah, I've got my answers, but um, in this situation, it becomes difficult for them. Mm. Because, you know, marriage is not just about, um, like, going through troubles and problems and all that. We also get married so that, because the Bible says we should come together and then multiply. Yeah. So in this situation, how are they going to handle that side too? Because um, the lady is saying, <laughs> and Miss Nancy, one thing too, quickly. The lady keeps saying, you cannot stay out of my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Could it be that the lady has an attitude problem? Apart from she having all that problems, because they are also well to do. Mm. Sometimes you need to look at that side. So some ladies, aside of all their problems, they don't know how to even consider certain things. I mean, and what how we, to talk we usually to. call locally, oh, here needs to be proud. Yes. So she goes like, hey, now over where I'm in one home, you can't be very any this can a company, no, all these things. You have all these things. Now you want to stay away from me? No, me, no, no, no. We have to be in the same room. Fine, we can. God, you know. Yeah. Do we? Can our pastors and counselors help us from that side? Okay, there? so I mean, Why? if the lady is feeling entitled, if she's feeling that my dad has bought you, he's giving you this life that you originally didn't have, so you have to endure me by all means at all costs, Kelly? Um, again, let's be empathic and truly, genuinely considerate. This guy was okay. Mm -hmm. He could live a very, very fulfilling, successful life with or without her. Yeah. This choice to accept this woman was a personal one out of what I foresee to be his personal upbringing to accept people the way they are mm. and love them genuinely. Now, um, so if he experienced this lady giving him negative attitudinal exhibitions. He would have mentioned this in the story long ago. In the ago. story. The fact that he didn't mention it tells me it's not an issue, even if there is. Yeah. Because there are some people who have spouses with such issues, but it's, it's not a big deal to them. But it's a, it may be a big deal to outsiders, but the man is not complaining. Mm. Even if that is, there's always a way to go about it. And he's doing fantastically well. Now, let's understand something fundamental. We need to understand that marriage is not for 100% pleasure. <laughs> you can't go into marriage to enjoy yourself. Oh, Marriage is, no, no, no. Marriage is not for enjoyment. At all? Just hold on, don't stone me yet. <laughs> Marriage is not for enjoyment. What is it for? Marriage is for the good pleasure of the one who instituted it. Ah. So hold on, slow down. The one who created marriage says, this is my institution. Uh -huh. And the primary reason for creating this institution is uh -huh. to please me. You are a secondary factor where marriage is concerned. 
It is a beautiful marriage, gift God yes, gave to man marriage, that woman marriage, and man should enjoy. Hold on, Miss Nancy. I totally understand you, but that enjoyment is very, very secondary. Marriage is for two people who have come together to do God's will primarily before the secondary effect of pleasing each other. Mm. Marriage is not for you. Marriage is not for your spouse. Marriage is for the originator of the institution. What was his primary purpose for putting us together for his glory? Let's focus on that. You see, when we say that the joy of the Lord is my strength, it means that the joy is not yours, it's his. Mm. So he gives you strength to keep giving him joy. Mm. So when you get the joy, he empowers you to keep working for him. It's like a company where you send two people to go and start a branch. And then the company gives you a car, house, and all that. They're not giving you a car, house, because they love you. They want the job to get going on. So God is saying that through you, I will do so, so, and so, and so things in the earth. I'm, I'm, I'm almost done. So the point is this. Let's understand the, the, the inevitable sacrificial dimension of matrimony. Until we understand that... We'll be praying against ourselves and casting and binding things that we have no business with. This is just a cross. Accept what it is. It could have been something else. It might not be bedwetting. It could be, it could be basically anything else. And we've got to deal with it. Marriage is not for children. <laughs> Marriage is not for procreation. What if you don't have children? You pack up. No, I get it. So the fact that you got married and you didn't have children doesn't mean you should look for children anywhere else. I mean, it's acceptable that the children would be appreciated. But you see, there's a difference between marriage and family. family. Marriage is between a man and a spouse, period. Children are not welcome in marriage. Children, in addition, makes it family. family. And so let's focus on the marriage itself and so for again, you if the this, marriage is not enjoyable people still should still endure, endure. I'm, I'm no, saying no, no, that wrong. if hold on my brother i'm saying that if children yes. were even this man's priority again he would have mentioned he hasn't mentioned that yes so you're so, saying that it doesn't matter if you're enjoying the marriage or not endure it so long as no, you are no, in no 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 marriage is not for endurance Marriage is for the understanding of your assignment in the person's life. So you don't call that endurance. You call that working. your task. Pastor, thank you. If it's not serving, working. Thank serving you. diligently thank you. the one who puts you there. Thank you, Kelly Daniels. Opinions, they say. Uh, it, I it, like it's knows okay it. not to agree with And it's you. nice uh, to Marriage have is work. diverse opinions Marriage on is this consistent program. work until we death We are do wrapping you up, and I want my lady pastor, Ada, uh, <laughs> Also, for say your last words, yes. I'll come to the lady pastor and we'll be out of here. You see, what uh, Councillor Kelly is talking about is way beyond what we think of marriage today. Mm -hmm. You see, we've taken the institution from the hands of the originator and we've made it a social contract. And so things like this are so difficult for us to understand. In Ephesians chapter 5, marriage is used to describe Christ's relationship with the church. How many times have we not messed up? Has he given up on us? And Jesus yeah. keeps cleaning our mess. He keeps cleaning our mess. He said something very important. When you're going to marry, people begin to think, will he or she be good for me? That is not a good question. The good question is, will I be good for him or her? Yeah. You must under, we must understand that this thing is a responsibility. Marriage is called a voluntary necessity. Mm -hmm. It is voluntary. If you want, you go into it. If you don't want, you can stay out of it. God does not push anybody. You. Your voluntary doing the thing becomes mandatory. Voluntary becomes mandatory. And you have to bear with it. Thank you. Thank you. That's a good one. <laughs> Hello, Ni. Are you there? Miss hmm. Nancy, I'm here. Ni, have you been helped? by these suggestions and contributions from the studio. Hmm. I'm saddened that your resource people seem to think I'm a selfish 
inconsiderate person who's who went only for the money. Um, I, I, I have grown to like her, mm. but it doesn't take away the fact that I am suffering mm. and I need a respite. I've, I've heard all they've said. I will take some of them into consideration, but yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just sad that they, do, they think I am just Some of them, a not everybody thought that way. A, a selfish and uh, so many guy. times we celebrated the man that you are for sticking with this young woman. So, I mean, most of the time, it's only human that when we get negative remarks, those are the ones that stick. But when we are celebrate, we, we're celebrated, we easily forget. So do not forget the number of times, about four times, the host of this show asked them to celebrate a man like you and other men like you that are enduring issues like this on behalf of their spouses. Thank you very much. Thank Lee. you, Miss Nancy, for the consideration. My lady. <laughs> Oh, wow. Our last words, and we will be out of here. All right. So my last words will go to um, Ni. Ni, I think that, first off, you are a great person. Mm -hmm. You are a great man. Mm. And um, regardless, you understand the situation better. Yeah. Now, there are so many ways at which we can find a solution. Other ways are impossible, but with God, all things, all things are possible. Are. I would just urge you to transit, try and grow and become her prayer partner. Mm. Be a prayer warrior yourself mm. and make her a prayer partner. Mm. Once the both of you engage in prayer as much, there's a place in prayer in a certain rima that God himself Will give you clarity if you can't wait that much wait for the hearing but seek for a prophet mm. a genuine one mm. a good one that will give you that can directions. tell you the source of the problem now mm. all the things we are doing it's because we don't know the source mm. we just need to know what is it and whatever source once God is involved, it can be fixed. But it will take you to do an extra sacrifice. Aside just being a husband, aside just being a man who loves his wife, who has endured, please grow yourself to be a prayer warrior. Mm. Everything in life can fail except prayer. Thank you. <laughs> now it's been quite a conversation, quite a story, and quite a confession. I would live tonight. In the course of this conversation, I realized that the youth of Ghana would have to sit up and get innovative. Are there non-wettable duvets on the market? Are there non-wettable mattresses on the market? Are we thinking of solving situations and making money out of it? This is a woman that wants to share the same bed with her husband. Her only challenge is that she's wetting the bed every day. With all the money they have, can they afford buy something that can be of help to their situation? You are listening. You are watching Confessions tonight. If you take nothing out of it, I'm telling you to get creative, get innovative, and start giving solutions to the problems of Ghana. Good night, Ghana. Miss Nancy.